tell me who's hot, who's not, who really on top, who got they on shop. The hustle don't stop. Same old shit. Go grinding. You know ain't nothing change one bit. It's a unique. Check it, man. Hey, man. Check it, man. Check it, check it, check it. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not none of you know my on. Man, hold up. Man, I, I know you always give them the spiel about what we're going to yes, do with the videos. You got to go like, come on subscribe, with it. follow us, share us on all social media platforms, including Patreon, because that's where you're going to find our full-length interviews after a while. Even on YouTube, we do offer membership packages, so y'all check it out. Support our business, because, you know, we support y'all. Yo, 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 man. Hey, man, these guys right here today, y'all, man. Hey, listen, Kansas City, Missouri, you in for a treat, man. It's about to go down, man. Hey, man, these guys right here, man, been ripping through the internet. I seen this young kid. Mm. He was he was riding, and all, I, the dunk master was in the car. I believe that other boy, uh, Mr. Goddammit, was in the car. These <laughs> folk were riding around, and all of a sudden, they spin out and burn out and, and, and had a little, a, a little hiccup, but got it back straight. You know, people had parts. These are Part people too, man. Check it, man. We got that boy Young Throttle in the building. Okay. Man and Cash. And that boy Fatty the motherfucker. Fatty is in the building, man. Fatty the Throttle. Hey, listen, man. Fatty is in this thing, man. The driver is here. He here. The driver is here, y'all. The one who be causing a lot of trouble. You know, uh, this boy here got ties with Boss Talk 101, man. And uh, he family, man. So check it, man. We got a guy. We got a group of guys. Thank y'all for coming on the show. I appreciate it. We appreciate you uh, letting us get down. You see me cutting up, y'all. That's how I come in. That's why Boss Talk crazy, because I'm crazy. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm crazy for passion for stuff like I see here today, yeah, man. Yeah. You know, um, man, how old are you, man? 11, turning 12 this year. You 11? Scoot that mic over a little bit. I want to hear this young man. Say what? So I'm, turn, I'm 11, turning 12 this year, May the 6th. How long you been driving, man? Last year, what was it, June? June? June. Yeah, June. You off the rip with it. Yeah. Just, I'm going to drive this car. <laughs> yeah. Man, listen, man. Listen, man. I'm, I'm going to be real with you. I ain't never really met nobody your age uh, just rolling around, you know, I'm going to ask you some very serious questions. I want some very serious answers. No, but where you get it from? The like boy got it. It's the somebody. boy driving. I know, but who started him Step, off I'm driving? Like you. Like who me, did you me, see uh, uh, why uh, you uh, wanted uh, uh, to Step, do that? You let you take off with it, but this different today. <laughs> okay, go I ahead. I really want to understand this young man's world. See, go he's ahead. a young man. Okay, go ahead. So this young man, I need to talk to this guy man to man. Okay, you are right. Okay, so let me try to get in there again. Now, I'm back. <laughs> I'm trying to figure this out. Now you 11? Yes. And you just decided I'm just going to jump in the car and drive it? Uh, something like that. What gives you the audacity? <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> what made you like, what the hell is audacity? <laughs> <laughs> what made you think to do that? What? Okay, so I'm gonna I'm get the real spill. You know, Miss Jamaica would fit a run down through there on you. Like, she like to go in your past and be like, now. His past ain't that. That's what I'm saying. I'm <laughs> uh, now, now, we got to talk about you, that, you know, before the celebrity. Well, you know, I was wearing pull ups and I came <laughs> up. My daddy, he was out there with them cars and I jumped in the driver's seat and here I am today. You know, it's going to be like that, you know? Yeah. So just tell us how did you get into it on the real? Well, uh, my him, that you driver and my dad started doing smoking tires when I was like five, and then I just really got into it and I started riding in the car with him before the shows would start because people really didn't like when he was driving with me inside the car. So before the show, so then I just kept watching him and then yeah, I just kept watching him. Louis, years went past and he just let me start driving some of his cars, like move them, telling me to move them around and park them and stuff. And then it was snowing one day. To park the car. So how yeah. old were you when you parked your first car? Seven, seven. seven you foot can hardly even catch the, the pedal. <laughs> how are you parking a car? Your foot can't even touch the pedal. It's good to see that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm being real. You say you was you 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 decided you was gonna park the cars. Your pop say park. My daddy told me to pull the truck up, and I'm gonna be honest with you. I was young. How old were you? I probably was maybe ten, eleven. Yeah. This is a big truck. This is a pulpwood truck. Mm -hmm. So this truck was big, and if it this truck 
if it went off, it may not crank back up because it'd be so hot on the engine. And if you let the truck go dead, then That's it good. won't crank back up. Right. So my daddy was like, boy, you better move that damn truck up. And if you, you better not let that truck go dead. At, 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 a, a at his shift? age. Is it a stick shift or yeah, automatic? Yeah, it's a stick shift. Ooh. He wasn't playing no games with me. Um, but at the end of the day, we were born into this, right, youngster? Let me go and get there with you. We were born into this, so we didn't have no other choice because that's what we knew. That's all we knew. So when you pull the cars around and you park them or whatever, did you ever burn out a little bit? <clears throat> Just see what it do because they be doing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you hit, it, hit the gas goose in a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> So just tell me, like, like, so um, you basically, uh, y'all figured it out yes. to be young as you are. Now, you said something about smoke the tires. Explain to me. And I'm going to get you to explain that to me, like smoke the tires. He said, he just said smoke the tires. You know, I was with Fatty the Drive and my dad smoked the tires. When that's he what he five, said. five, that's when I, they started. I did, yeah, that's right. And, and I heard him. Yeah. He didn't say not the homies yet, but I'm going to let y'all get into the not the homies, you know, because y'all know a little bit more about that. Right, right, so right. G give me a, a, a spiel on the inspiration of, okay, who came up with the name? Well, Fatty came up the name. Okay, so Fatty came up with the name. Oh. And, 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 and when Fatty came up with the name, let me get to Fatty. Fatty, when you came up with the name, what was the concept behind... Uh, coming up with that name. Did y'all say we starting the groove and I'm just going to come up with the name or what was it? Nah. Or did something happen? I ain't going to say nothing happened, but it's more or less, uh, I was coming to that point of me growing up, maturing, that this violence, it's, we, we, I got a following. These kids is really following. So I'm like, uh, let's make it a positive situation. You know what I'm saying? We're we going to tear these streets up, but let's make it positive. Wow. That is so, man, kudos to you for, 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 for you two both, all y'all, y'all, that means so much that y'all would figure it out, a way to say, hey, you know what, man, let's focus on something else instead of people in our community man. just dying. Man. Well, we <clears throat> we started up, because see, they made me shut my lot down. So we had an empty car lot. So uh, I, I love doing donuts, he loved doing donuts, so. And that's why they let you, that's why they made you shut it down because of them donuts? No, no, well, this is how it started. We just started, we just came together for Father's Day one weekend. It was like, man, let's just get everybody together. So it was 40 of us. And we was just doing donuts in the parking lot. It started getting bigger every week, every week, every week. We Because we, once we started it, we didn't stop. So every week, it got bigger. It got bigger. And then with my platform, with me selling cars and having um, a lot of connections in the community with the police, the police pulled up one day. It was like 100 of us out there. And he was like, okay. <clears throat> Okay, Cash, you are responsible for everybody from this to this. You cool with that? And I was like, so you go let us keep rocking? He was like, yeah, as long as you take responsibility from here to there, bet. So what we would do is we would tell everybody, take your cell phones out and uh, do a panoramic view and tell people we not snitching. We tell it. So if you come out here and you get the, you know, acting up because I got my kids, my grandkids, and it's, it's an anti-stop the violence movement. So if you had a gun, we make you put it up. So we just brought the community and the police together. So I did because you said they stopped you from doing it because we we gathered four thousand, three thousand people <laughs> and every then, weekend. But it never it was it was never. You didn't have enough space for it, right. or right. Maybe so you needed to find space. a bigger spot. Right. Wow. But before, whenever y'all started this, because you you just jumped up and said you're gonna start doing the donuts there, but you were already. Um, doing donuts somewhere else before no. this? No, no, nah, no. Nah, we gotta speak on that. No, nah, it was more. We we uh we do this car stuff. We well, people selling cars. I'm right. already known for having fast cars. I was already known for tearing up Prospect, tearing up Kansas City back first Friday. Him too. <laughs> yeah, they, we we do that. Well, that's what we was known for doing anyway. So I might drop a status like when you say we, tearing up, you mean just driving crazy. I'm, I'm, you know, I might do a little crazy. Stuff. It might be crazy to you, but yeah, but basically, yeah, yeah. we gonna tear this small. We gonna tear it up. So we're um, we came together though. I drop a status online like, hey, we uh, we at the we on 59th and Prospect with you. No, and no, I, no, no, no. Go back to where we tore up first Friday. Okay, first Fridays in Kansas City is a it's a it's a car thing. Uh, all the car guys come together and they meet up. You know what I mean? In the summer in the summer months. So uh, that's usually a lot of low riders and then, and then them uh, them stuck up uppity niggas in their cars. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So uh, 
Desmond, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out. He, he, that's uh, me. That's okay, me. okay. Uh, okay. Uh, he, he, called, he called him by his real name. <laughs> I had to on that because, he, he, you know what I mean? Like I said, I didn't know nothing about no trucks and trailers prior to him. He pulls up with a three-car trailer. You feel me? And said, hey, let's go to First Fridays. And we're going to put this raggedy-ass Mustang I got. And he got a raggedy-ass TA and another car on there. Let's go down there and just go you know, go do some playing. So we pull up to the First Fridays. It's like it's like a scene on like uh, Boys in the Hood mm-hmm. before the Doughboy got going crazy. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of them scenes. Low riders everywhere, big wheels, everybody chilling. We pull up in a three-car trailer with these raggedy-ass cars and take them right off and got busy right then and there, right by these people's expensive cars. Tore it up, acted a fool, you know what I mean? <laughs> Legendary stuff. Yeah, wow. you feel me? That's and uh, big. from then it was just it got bigger. And we just every weekend we we outside. And this before Smoke the Tires, yeah, the before, name. This before all before that. Before all that. You were just getting known for being one to turn up when you pull up. Every time everywhere I go. Look, everywhere you go. Everywhere everywhere, every <laughs> gas station my hey fatty, I'm, I'm you ain't gotta say it, I'm already doing it. I'm glad you said that. How many times did the police get behind you and you had to Where, run up? the police? Who are they? You see what I'm saying? What I'm you had to, you had to, yeah, because they yeah, go. to go through some hiccups. Oh, they going to come out and he going to get away. So oh, he yeah. he had to get away a lot of times. Okay, you yeah. probably had a name in yes. that city at that police station. They Fatty knew the exactly. driver. And yeah. they knew the car before they knew you. Fatty yeah. the driver. They they like, okay, but we, yeah. we changed cars, though. <laughs> uh, but then when you was doing the events on your lot right. and they knew that you were associated with Fatty, Fatty. And then you, what he, so well, what? Well, let me, cause see, with everything I've been doing in the community with my car lot, giving away cars. No, uh, honest, yeah. Doing a lot of, you know, we got labeled the first honest car lot in the world, you know what I mean? So it was a lot of momentum that we got created in the, uh, in the city. Mm-hmm. So once me and him came together, it was no. It more. made him look good, right? Because now we, because we gave it. Because see, we the whole thing was, we 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 did the donuts to bring everybody together so we could speak to them. Mm-hmm. So we did a lot of talking, That's and we good. did a lot of giving away. So for the first time, everybody in the community came together, and it wasn't no violence. You know what I mean? So when we started, we started to smoke your tires because of what we did down there on First Fridays because then we got banned from all First Friday. It was a yeah. whole internet beef wow. against us because I had to go down there and apologize <laughs> apologize to the guy because once we did what we did, which you had two professional drivers out there swinging these cars. Everybody else tried to start yes. doing it. So then, that was going to be so my <laughs> next question because when you started doing this trend and you know all the young kids going to want to do what you're and doing, but then they don't know how to hold it tight Right. As some people yeah. say, okay, okay. you know, yeah, hold it yeah, tight. Yeah. So they're going to be swinging wide and maybe it reminded me of um, Fast and Furious when he started drifting yeah. and mm-hmm. how he was hitting all them cars and people yeah. had to be running. I'm yeah. like, I can imagine how somebody trying to learn donuts. Well, see what we brought. Like, all right. Just think about this. You got a bunch of pretty women standing around with their high heels. Nobody's dancing. Just everybody's looking all stuck up and just want to look pretty. What we did was we brought three project brides that with the thong up, all that booty out, all that, and we just got the party cracking. You know what I mean? Yeah, because, people. Yeah. This is kind of like when you go to the strip club, there ain't yeah. many fights yeah. because people focused on that. Yes. yes. So I yeah. got it. What we did, and then I put the tray. I put my car back up on the trailer. Fatty took it to the intersection, this kept long. the party cracking, and then going. once we left. Now all of a sudden, them girls with the high heels and now they want to dance. Now they want to dance, and they couldn't. And so they were smacking cars, and they blamed us for a lot. Oh, of dang! <laughs> <laughs> Got it. But we never, we never hit nothing. Let me ask you this: I, when I talked to uh, certain people, uh, I had, uh, I had Mister Goddamn on here uh, the other week, and they're getting ready to go up to the West Coast, mm-hmm. and they're saying that the West Coast is where it is started at. Mm-hmm. Um, is that the way you guys see it, or is it? You guys uh, started it, or who started this whole, you know, like, 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 drip, you know, you spin that burnout, the donuts. Well, well, I, I, well, see, I'm since I'm older than Mike, I've been doing this since Speak I was 16, it. right? Now, we knew, we knew nothing about the Bay Area. We knew nothing about California. We knew nothing about the internet. We didn't have internet, you know what I mean? So for me, it was just everybody just got together. You know what I mean? You had fancy cars. You had a bunch of young millionaires back young when I yeah. back when I was growing up. You know what I mean? Had a bunch of young, and everybody was showing out. So what you would do is, you 
it was all fixed up cars. It, and, and you had to have handles. You had to have skills. You could not jump out there without the handles. You know what I mean? Because it was too much money around for you to hit. So uh, we would be in tight corners. Uh, 59th and Prospect, where we started it at, was a legendary place. It was a killing field and a hangout field. You know what I mean? Wow. So what we did was, it, since a lot of lives was taken from there, we try to protect a lot of lives. You know wow. what I mean? So it was more... So any video you see him really getting down, it, it all started from there. You know, I always tell people is it, it really it, it ain't what you do, it's how you do it. Yes, sir. You know, so when I look at what you guys are doing, the same thing as me when I tell people like I have young guys be around me, like my guy, you know, Coop, yes. you know, um, like I don't and like like Money Moses, like I'm not here trying to tell them what to do. I'm trying to show them how to be. Facts. Yes, sir. And, and, and when you take them away from certain environments, uh -huh. you're already doing what you're supposed to do. Yes, sir. So when you take them and put them in a situation like you guys done, night after night, week after week, mm -hmm. you saving lives in the midst of that. Yes, People don't see that part, mm -hmm. but the part of you being walking it in front of them like that and them being a part of something that's uh, that's pretty much primarily professional, uh, people are out there trying to be safe mm -hmm. that represent something that pretty much saves lives instead of taking them mm -hmm. and you do it for two years straight or a year straight or 10 years straight, look how many lives you done saved. Mm -hmm. Right. That's, that's, you, you just wrapped up everything in a nutshell. That's because I'm a, I'm a <laughs> poet, a prophet. No, I'm just kidding. But that's, what, that, that's the way I feel when I'm trying to mentor. I don't try to do it in a way to say, do this, do that. I try to do it in a way to represent this and represent that in a way that I can help my people. And that's what you guys are doing. And thank you guys for that. We've been fighting to kind of get smoky tires like every weekend in our town. Uh, for the last five, six years. I even ran for city council to try to, to even jump into the, 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 the building politics and jump into the politics of it. I didn't really care about politics, but it was just the whole fact that to try I mean, to make a change. Yeah, there we go. That doesn't speak on the, that part. You feel me? <laughs> it, uh, when they shut what we had going down, when they shut that down. What year did they shut it down? They, this is like 17. Mm -hmm. 2017? Yeah, they shut that okay. down. And we only went nine, we went nine weeks. I was nine. about to say, when did y'all start? We what, started like in around 17 June -ish. Too? Yeah, in 17. Okay. They shut it down that same year. It was, okay. it was that major, though. But th this is what it was. They didn't shut us down because it was uh, it was people out there. It was too many people, whatever. They shut us down because so many black folks coming together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was big. It's bigger than black folks just uh, outside. It was more or less a... Uh, Votes, they it was a pol uh, poli uh, uh, political like a political play. They seen that we can turn this, we can turn this radical. You know what I'm saying? We had they thought we had a voice to turn this radical. You feel me? You got four thousand black folks in one area, not one person's on any gangster nothing. Ain't nobody on that. With a positive movement, they was looking at us like messiahs. So and this was on your property. Yes. Yes. Okay. That's important. Then, that's no, important. Yeah, yeah. That's what I want to make sure. But then. Um, you know, I totally agree with you, but then also because you're in a city and you want to abide by the rules and you know what can happen, yes. you want to, like, in my mind, I'd be like, okay, let me go to the city. I know it's on my property. Let me see if I need permits, if I need, yeah. you know, extra insurance or, because they're going to try to hit you with all yeah. of that. Yeah. They did. So, but what I'm <laughs> saying is that before they even come to you, yeah. I'll be like, okay, I so when they come, I'm like, I have insurance for, I can cover 5,000 people on my property. Yeah, yeah. And if it's get bigger, I will go get insurance. Because that's what they're looking at. Mm -hmm. Although it's going to still fall on you, but they is looking at, it's going to make the city look bad. You understand what I mean? So that's that's what a lot of them yeah, look at. Yeah. Well, in this case, they didn't like the fact that we, because every week they had to report to what's going on. Mm -hmm. Nobody got shot. Because at first it was just, oh, man, there's too many cars. So my wife, she would always keep the traffic moving. They was like, as long as traffic going, y'all good. Okay. But then when it's got to be like four, it, it got to be big. I'm talking about we started the show at a, at three, right? And they was there at noon. And they was there at the noon. People was getting food trucks together. So what we did was we brought the community together and where we had the black dollars circulate within the black, black community. And so we gave away a lot of stuff. So like you said... They hit me with, oh, you don't have this. But then once we start getting into getting it. Getting everything we situated. Didn't we didn't need nothing. <laughs> we didn't need, once it's, once it's on private property, you don't need nothing. You right. know what I mean? So so then 
we went and got it done at another bigger facility, you mm -hmm. know, at a church right across the street from the police department. Mm -hmm. We tricked them, you know what I mean? We tricked them. We told them it was going to be a car show, but then they was like, well, why y'all getting these concrete barriers? You know what I mean? What's going on with that? So then um, they made us get a, a insurance, right? Right. <clears throat> three, what? Three, two days before the actual show, they made me get uh, a $10 million policy. I already mm -hmm. had a $1 million policy. So then uh, that's when I let him drive, right? Mm -hmm. I said, Dion, you you want you want to get in the show because they made me get a ten million dollar insurance policy. So yeah, like, might as so, well put him so, in it. So if you go mess up, mess up here, and then it went off. You know what I mean? Um, we've been on the road ever since. Man, okay, that's, hold on, that's, fix your shirt a little bit. That's live. You know, I'm gonna tell you. No, something. but um, but I had a question about what he go said. Ahead. But okay, being a woman, because I know this came from almost every single woman. Come, you know. And putting your child, how old was he at the time when you put him in the car and had him drive? This is 2017 still? No, 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 no. This was just recently. What year? Oh, recently. Okay, I so he was it, a I little just, bit. I just put him behind the wheel just but last summer. Oh, okay, because yeah. he was saying um, when he was younger. Oh, and when he, he used was in to, the car. When he used to drive. When, oh. when he used to drive and he oh. was in the car, people would be like, no, nah, that's dangerous well, or it, something like see, that. It was, it was so, it, I, we at that time, it was so much going against us. You know what I mean? At the time, they didn't like us. So I didn't want to give them nothing else to talk about. Now, with me and him by ourselves, and I'm up there practicing, you know, because mm -hmm. I want to make sure I don't hit nobody. And the whole thing was, as long as we put on a show, we putting on a show. You know what I mean? We keeping everybody entertained. Uh, me and him started the show. We intermission the show and we ended the show. You know what I mean? So we actually put on a show. It wasn't just us out there just driving. That's another. How, how many? Right? How many? How many times did somebody get hurt? None. Not one. Not one. Because time. we controlled the pit. See, as long as you control the pit and keep people from going out there. Right now, what they doing right now? And I'm. I, I can say this. I'm. I can say it. When the 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 Europeans <laughs> jumped into what we was doing, and, and and this is everywhere. I'm talking about everywhere that we go and we talk to people. It's the same thing. As long as it was a black thing, you didn't get nobody hit. When nobody smacking cars and running, you didn't have the violence. Once the Europeans got involved in it, now you got renegades, and now they they just tearing up. That they, they, there's no rules. So all you do, you race, or do you um, just do donuts, or Look, it's uh, um okay, so it's different things. Like in the side shows, that's more or less for the hood. Side shows was a uh, side shows really originated back. Like they say, in, it started out in the Bay, mm -hmm. uh, Oakland and stuff. So where it was like when the, the function let out, the party let out, the house party, the, the, the whatever let out, we all get together. You know, start acting the fool, doing what we do, and um, it was more or less for the uh, for the ballers. Niggas with that paper, they was letting you know what their car worth, what their mm -hmm. hood worth, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying, and they come through. And then it turned more into, uh, you know, that, that spread across the nation. So what we doing this shit in Kansas City, when I was, you know, I was in the streets, I had my bag, and I, I let y'all know, I'm, I got some money in this car, and I come through after the function, let out drunk, tearing this motherfucker up every time, wouldn't care. So this, that's the donuts and that's acting what, that's the what food? That's the donuts, that's what yeah, we, we okay. doing that. Okay. And then it, it kind of... Uh, it grew into this takeover yeah. situation, this takeover stuff, yeah. and that's more or less these. This is a younger crowd; yeah. they don't have no real money. They they might got Hellcats and all that stuff, but they ain't really put no bread in their car. They just come outside. The cars. You know, no, the reason outside. why I asked you that is because um, when you think about even with racing, because you know when we went and watched Dunk Master, and you know they were you know yeah. racing and stuff like that, things do happen, and, and people yeah. do you know have wreck or almost wreck or whatever. It because happens. even when you look at NASCAR, who is a professional yeah. you know circuit, people do wreck. Yes. And even when you were talking about donuts and where it originated, because even like when you Google it. It said that, like, in 1995, you know, um, NASCAR, I think it was Jeff Gordon, whenever he won a race, that's when he it's did his yeah. donuts, and that's where they said that's that's where it started from, or whatever. But that's doing donuts. I know, I know, I know. I'm be, I'm a, can I be real with y'all? <laughs> My dad and them were doing this when I was a kid, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm so you can't really just gauge it like that. Now, I know. as far as bringing a, a people together for that, um, that's what I was talking about. Uh, People who was gathering to see this, who came out night after different. night. Kansas City, yeah. that's what we did different. We actually mm -hmm. brought people out. Mm -hmm. We had we had food, we had music, we had people, we had actual shows. That's what we do. That's what set us apart from uh, uh, Cali, 
from uh from Detroit, from all them. We actually put on shows. You mm-hmm. still do it today. Yeah, we, we well, try. Well, well, I want. Let me no, no, because because you they try to say you like the best one is what I people am. be saying. Well, no, oh, he said he said psh, I am. I am. Psh, if you the best, how the hell do somebody gauge the fact that you the best, Fatty? Yeah. Fatty, the driver is the best to do this ever okay. out of Kansas, okay. Kansas City, Missouri. Hold on, what how he is say, that? When he yeah. say to do this, be specific he about as the burnout, the the what this is. Uh, this is the, the donuts, the driving, the, the whole, show. but it's a whole side show, side show, show, show movement. If I'm one of the best, I ain't gonna stunt. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it like this. So they don't, they only speak on the driving part. It's bigger than just the driving. You know what I'm saying? I be, I had, I became an icon. I became something that people looked up to. A lot of niggas can't drive, but you can't look up to what they're doing because they're doing illegal shit. You can't be like, I want to be like Fatty. You know what I'm saying? Now you can say it about Fatty, but you can't say it about them other niggas because they got other shit going on that they can't, you know, they can't even. Bring to the table, you feel me? But what make you the best fatty to drive? And do you go city to city and do this to competitively, gauge, right? To gauge, okay, I'm the best in the U.S. I'm the best in the world. I'm, I'm the, the best, best in, in Kansas, with, in, city, Missouri, or maybe just yeah, in Kansas. Yeah. Maybe that's where I, you I, best. Have you ever at. in Kansas, City, Missouri? Have you ever? Ran up on somebody out of town. Ran on somebody out of town, and they and they gave it to you, nigga. They gave it to you. <laughs> they boom, boom, boom. They gave yeah, it to I mean, you. Yeah, yeah, Not really. Yeah, I, 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 I gotta give it to him. Yeah, yeah. Who yeah, was I, it? I mean, I, I'm not. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm in a city. I'm in a city. I don't know where the police is. I don't know nothing. I'm just out here, just looking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you come you're to my city with that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, of course, I'm a, I'm a I'm a dog walking because I know how to work around. I know how to move around. This one, I don't know what I was doing up there. I'm just swinging donuts in the middle of nowhere. That's like me coming downtown Dallas. Like, yeah, we doing it right here. Let's go. No, I take that back. Dallas. I turned Dallas up. Nigga, I turned me. Don't come here with that, bro. Don't come here with that, bro. I turned Dallas. Don't come here with that, bro. They were not doing donuts in Dallas. Don't come here with that, bro. These niggas was racing. So uh, they was racing. I came down here that WS6 drop top shut down 75. What year was that? What was 18, 19? Oh, really? Came to shut down. They started doing donuts when they seen me doing it. They wasn't doing no. They do a donut and a half and get up out of there and they go race. We were, I don't race, nigga. I don't know the first thing about you racing. side show. Big side show shit. And it's a difference. And, it, and I recorded all of it. It's all, this is all fact. This is all there. That's they hard. seen that, bro. And, 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 and but you, you still- been back. Since then, to see that they ran him out, they ran him out. Of town. Damn. But, 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 but you got to look at this. If so called, you were that person that yeah. started it back then, and then they started following. There might be somebody right now who's better no, than they you. They probably are, but they probably are. That's why I'm trying to build a platform so I can get them out there. So they ain't gonna do the things I had to do. I don't want them running from the police. They making laws that make this yeah. shit felonies now. And if you know when they make laws, we be the ones to get this shit into the deal. You see what I'm saying? Because these 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 them clear folk got money to fight to get the cases, and they they get probation. But when that same when we catch some cases, you know what I'm saying? We actually get stuck with them felonies and all that. So I'm right now I'm working a back end. I'm being a, I'm being a big brother to the side show because I don't want them to go through what I had to go through. You know what wow. I'm saying? So so yeah, right now y'all can have the streets and all that. Yeah, but I'm gonna try to make, uh, build a platform for y'all can come do this legitly. And get, still get your shine, get your money, get whatever you're trying to get out the game. You know what I'm saying? But you know, you're going to always have them renegades that don't oh, want sure. to sure. do right. I got a place for them, though. I got a <laughs> yeah. place for them. But, but, but this, is, this, is, this is what you see here, right? It's the product of that. This is what you see here. Now, we only show up to legitimate pits. We, and, and, and if you want to say who's going around, going state to state, say they the best driver. It would be this guy right Facts. here. Facts. Wow, put the mic back on him. Let's get this going. I, I want to talk to this young man. It would be this guy right here because- hey, you, can, you can step in and do it. This your cousin, ain't it? You don't act like you don't even know the boy. I know he's because ha- hands down, um, everywhere we go, he steals the show. Wow. And you say he's the, is he the youngest driver? Yes. Because I know that the other day whenever I went to the races where Dunkmaster was, there was, and it wasn't a dunk car that they were driving. They were driving like a little, you know, it was, what you call them, long it cars. Was like a yeah. car. It was like a go car. Yeah, course. yeah one course. of those. Side but it was, but, but they, oh, side show. Side okay. show. I was Listen. told you be very specific because that person was side 70 years show, old man. driving that. Side show. He did it at five. You didn't make it. Parking checking. cars at five. I was just Check it, man. Listen, man. Let's get on it, man. We're going to get to it, man. I want to talk to you about, you know, you drove this car. I seen it on the internet. I just so happened to be up, Young Throttle. I was on my YouTube, and all of a sudden I see you and Dunk Master. And uh, this boy, Mr. Goddammit, I want to talk about that. 
Now, how all this happened? I want to know kind of what what went down to make this whole thing happen. Now, I'm gonna I'm gonna get your perspective, but I want to hear from your perspective what was going on. Why? How did this come together? You riding in the car? You go to see them? What happened? Well, uh, first of all, it started off with like it was this post when uh, he I can't say his name, <laughs> but they say Mister. Yeah, Mister. He uh. <laughs> <laughs> He uh, let this uh, ten-year-old boy drive his Hellcat, and then everybody just started sharing the post and like texting. tagging you. Yes, tagging. So he ain't let a little ten-year-old boy no, drive his car. He was eleven. He was eleven. 11. He was 11? Yeah, he, he was and, in a Hellcat. Okay, so and that they, and this was in where in in what city? What city? Miami, South Carolina. They don't. They, Y'all don't know, no. but you seen it and you you kind of like what is this? And it was a sideshow. Was he no. doing donut? Oh, he just drove it. Yeah, oh, okay. So when when you seen it, you was like, oh, okay, okay. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, let me check this out. Let me see who who they keep tagging like, me. Like I this. can do better than. No, no, no. Who is this? Who is what's going on? So yeah, we seen that, and then everybody was like, oh, he can't try. He can't draw better than Young Throttle. Oh, they, they like, called him yeah, out. Yeah, they was like, meet us in Kansas. And meet Young Throttle in Kansas inside Kansas City, and all that. So we everybody started tagging Donk Master and uh, Mister inside. And he was, was talking stuff, so we pulled up on him. And oh, they were talking. <laughs> yeah. So people, so so people from Kansas people City. People from Kansas City were talking, so that's why y'all end up pulling up on the on the dunk master yeah. now. Y'all said we gonna pull up on them. Yeah. And, and we gonna and see what's up. Where were they when they pulled up? They were in, your they were in city? South Carolina. Oh, South Carolina. Yeah. So y'all drove all the way down there. Yeah. And when y'all got there, when you see you see the dunk master, he tall, him and that boy <laughs> big, the other boy wide, they big tall, wide nigga. You know what I'm saying? What did you say when you see oh here they go, here they go, them the ones was on the internet. No, I already met Donk Master when we was in uh who we was we at? We, no, we met him first in Louisiana. Yeah, we, wow. we met him how first. How was that? Because he's a friend of mine. I love Donk Master and what he represents too. So how was it meeting him for the first time? It was cool. It was, he was a yeah, pretty cool dude. Pretty chill. Were you yeah. looking up to him before that? Or were you following him? Did you know who he was? I knew who he was. I was just wasn't following him like that for real. Oh, okay. Because really, you was like, you you know, you got to realize, you you different. Your daddy into it. Yeah. You, you got you got this boy Fatty the Driver. You looking up to them. Yeah, you the already, y'all yeah. like, nigga, we, we represent this over here. We stand on this. So you really, when you seen them, you're like, okay, they cool. You couldn't let them know that you was cool with what they were doing all the way. But I'm here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> but so you you end up driving down y'all drive down there right and when y'all get down there how do you approach the fact of y'all for the ride together and I only mean I said they were tall and big and wide is because I heard they were too heavy in the car and that's what made the whole thing go a little different uh yeah so kind of fat <laughs> you you only being there by yourself you really don't have time for these big boys but you want to let them see how it feel to ride with young throttle yeah, so it, it, it really all started because we, they said they want, we, we want to do a skit, and we just got done getting the white Camaro all souped up and stuff. So we I never drove it with all the tunings and all that. So I okay. never got to get the feeling on the car. So this we, was the first time you going to drive it? Yeah, and, I, and we never did the suspension. It was just regular suspension, and we still had to do some stuff. All we did was just mess hey, with Hey, 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 whoever coming in with that phone, glue the phone in here. We doing an interview. Go ahead. But, uh, yeah, so then they hopped up in the car, and you can see in the video, like, the car is really leaning to one side. <laughs> okay, who was saying that? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The car was leaning to one side. Yeah. I who was sitting on that side and was leaning? Both of them. Them two both, they know they got to level it off, man. So, they, so you should have told one of them to try to miss the goddamn it to get in the middle. You know what I'm saying? If he got in the middle... Then it probably would have did right. But go ahead with the story. Yeah, so see, you can, like, so I'm going around, and as soon as I start, you can see that I already messed it up, and I'm mad close to the curve. I really didn't see the curve. <laughs> bro, you can't see over the hood, bro. You can't <laughs> see over the hood. So it, it, it so, was, come on now. So see, like, I'm going around, and I just whip it, because I, I cause really got to get the feel in the car. So I whip it, and you can hear, boom, 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 and then I get it right. Mm, hit the gas a little bit, try to turn it, but I'm over here leaning on the door, trying to hold on to some, cause I'm still small and I'm over here, so I'm holding on to the door. I'm trying to turn it and I hit it, and then 
I'm like, I don't see. I, I'm really hoping it's not a curve. So I hit the brakes, but it was a little too late. Wow. But in these cars, let me ask you a question. Because he's he not that big. He about how tall are you? Four, nine, four, ten. 14. Yeah, that's big. Oh, okay. That's up there. So yeah. he don't have to need like a booster seat in the car or nothing to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just asking. Because he's little. Well, I always tell him to go to the middle, right? Everywhere we go, if you ever see him drive, he don't speed out there. He goes to the middle because I know he can't see over the steering wheel, right. over the hood. But when you're going sideways, as you're going around, you can you can visual, you can see okay. everything. So then you know. So when you got a car he hasn't drove, you know what I mean? We went from building the car, dyno testing the car to the trailer, and then bring it straight to them. He did a few donuts. He did it right. But then when he threw Mr. Goddammit, you know what I mean? The are, weight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so then you had all wait a minute, these wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So Mr. Goddammit, I noticed you didn't say Dunk Master. You said Mr. Goddammit, because he's the heavy one. He's really like the big guy. <laughs> well, like Dunk Master tall, too. Dunk Master well, tall, well, but this one bit, Mr. Goddammit, I just seen him trying to throw some blows, and he was not no little dude. He's huge, you know, so that little no. boy couldn't see over him. When he looked to the left, he looked, <laughs> Mr. Goddammit. Yeah. Yeah, he couldn't see the, <laughs> the, the, the turn around. So I missed Goddamn was on that whole side. Yeah, Mr. Goddamn it, he was sitting up out the car. That's right. You know I mean, so yeah. When I'm in the car with him, I'm sitting back chilling. You know what I mean? I I know he needs, so he needs to see. But see, it was it was him being hype. He has not drove. We had been out there building this car just for this show. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So he hasn't touched it. You know what I mean? Uh, we got a dyno trailer pull up in South Carolina. Now we got to shoot content because we got there a little late. He just started, he didn't start off where he should have. You know what I mean? If he would have started off where he should have, he would have seen that curve. You know what I mean? But it's, we, they asked us, did y'all want us to take this out? And I said, no, no, he's 11. You know what I mean? Shit's going to fuck up. You know what I mean? So he's a kid. Leave it in there. And, and, and but he won the competition. So they can talk their ass. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. He won what competition? The 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 burnout, the the sideshow cut well we call it sideshow, but they call it burnouts. So, so he, he, we we took two cars up there, we tore up both of them, and he won. So what's the difference between Wait a minute, who is he going and against to win? A bunch of adults. Alright, so it was a little it was a little it was a little it was challenges. So we went in there, all he took it was only it was only three people. It was me and these two other drivers. I was going against a Hellcat and a uh, Mustang. Mustang. So we go inside the room. We talking about what we the challenges and stuff. First challenge was who car can last the longest. Uh, mm, I wouldn't. I, I would say I won that because the Camaro. I just drove it until it blew up because it was already having no power. So just drove it until that blew up and I had the longest time. Then. It was the next challenge was who can go to waters, and we was running out of time, so they took away the fourth challenge. I, that was and that was figure eights. So I won the cause also we hopped in the Lincoln since the Camaro was done for it. We hopped up in the Lincoln, and I just dogged it out. They, and th <laughs> this was all over in uh, in, in, uh, uh, Carolina. in South Carolina. Yeah, so, right. So with you guys, man, that's what's live about it, man. Y'all having a good time, right? So go ahead. So, and I had, I has been told to blow the Lincoln up because we have another one at the lot just sitting and waiting. And we just put a, like a, like a high power fan on it so it can, so it won't run hot super fast. So I tried my hardest. I was on the gas. Wow. So, so do these cars on, always on, blow up? No, because he keeps saying he blew this one up, blew that one up. It's part do, of the game. It, 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 it's part of the game. It is. Yeah. You gonna blow the we, car? We, we put on the show. We don't. We we ain't gotta pick up our baby mamas tomorrow. We you know we, we bring things on the trailer, and if we trailer it there, we go trailer it away. So when I send him out there, it's all about us putting on the show. And if it don't blow. He didn't put on the show. Wow. Wow. Um, so I want. So you, Dunk Master, then was there. Yeah. They seen you put on the show. All right, so see, look, for real, for real, I had to make up twice because Don Master really never get to, got to see me do a show because when we was in Lu Louisiana, we was borrowing my uh, dad's friend car, and we was it was a Z28, blew the transmission. They didn't put the transmission in there right. So 
blue transmission only didn't only got to do like six donuts for and that was kind of weak that was weak and so then you know the situation in the white camaro hit the curve so i really had to get my get back for that from from both hey (laughs) so i I like that man so mr god damn it and and dump master they both got to see you get out and 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 that part is that on the internet too that's on youtube as well so you you know but that's big man because those guys they they bring a a hard punch too to see all y'all come together man those guys I mean, Mr. Goddamn doing his thing, man. Yes, Every time yeah. I see him on the internet, he going crazy. I don't even, I'm, I'm not even play with that. That's what I've been watching because I've been looking at him lately. And Dump Master is a whole brand. Like, he a whole problem. And he do so much with putting, you know, parts together for those mm-hmm. cars, for mm-hmm. racing, for mm-hmm. safety. For safety. Yeah. So he really represents that in a, in a way for our people that is needed. So, culture. yeah. So yeah. to see y'all all come together like that, man. And, and and with people that look like y'all plus the youth man yeah, that's, heavy. that's so heavy like I love it I love the fact that y'all doing it I love the fact that you know y'all represent something that our, uh, our children coming up they can see and they can achieve those same goals if they put their minds to it and they got people that they can look up to so is there any website or anything where they can go and, and seek out you know uh, you know looking out for y'all or trying to reach out to y'all if they trying to get into it yeah so we just got the uh New Instagram page going on is called Young Thought of Fan Page. Then we got the uh, YouTube, and that's just Young Thought of under Young underscore Thought on YouTube. And I'm gonna be real, I'm gonna be posting more on YouTube for for. So yeah. yeah. So young um so young Thought of so what is it that this is what you want to do full time as you grow up? Yes. <laughs> well well we we are in the, the process of turning what he do into a legal sport mm-hmm. uh, talking with dunk master and some other guys who are in the game who are pillars in what they started because dunk master started what he did uh respect uh, and mr. gradually mr. making yeah. changes and mr goddamn it is in his own lane lane right so the whole thing is um we go create our own lane for the youth and um we set, we about to start a, a point system. So we, we as soon as he get his car back fixed, we go be back out on the road with Mr. Goddammit and uh, Dunk Master at all day shows. That's, that's hard, dope. man. That, that that's gonna be dope because I love the way these brands are collabing. Um, what's up, baby? Fan of the drivers? You gonna do man, what you gonna do, nigga? Of course, man. Look, what is you gonna do? He helps see, drivers there. Nah, see, so check <laughs> in. Check in. My smoke the tires. Not the homie story is a little different. You know what I'm talking about. So 2017, when the things went down, we got kicked out of, uh, well, we, the police started <laughs> harassing me. I started getting harassed by the police. They knew I didn't have no license. They was running up under the house. Every morning, I got my first job, I was 33. So I'm going to work. You know what I'm saying? The police are jumping behind me every morning, you know what I mean, trying to uh, pull me over. I got harassed, man. My brother got here in Tyler. He was in <laughs> Tyler, Texas. He was saying in Tyler, Texas, man, and he, uh, he said, "Bro, come on down here, man. Get away from this shit, man. You know, man. Get away from Kansas City right now. They, 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 they punishing you." Uh, my partner, man, Malik Collins, he, uh, he played for the Dallas Cowboys at the time. You know what I'm saying? He had gave me reinsuring words too. He said, "You come on down to Dallas, man. Come on down to Texas, man. We, it's gonna be all right." So I came down there with Tyler and to Tyler with my brother and uh, got up, got away from the city, man. I brought my uh, brought a car down there and we just we we, we that's when I started turning Texas out. Wow. You know what I'm saying on the side show things, and uh, I got hip to the music. Wow, you know, so I didn't know I can rap. Or none so of you stuff. rapping hard down in Texas because we brought it out of yes. you. We bring uh, it out of you. Shout out to Kendall, man. Definitely, man. Yeah, yeah. definitely. I definitely that. Yeah, the whole Texas, everything. I fell in love with the whole the culture. The everything. culture. Yeah, so it's a beautiful thing. I uh, I came down here and I seen black men and women getting real bags. Wow. I never seen that. Hard. You know what I'm saying? So. My biggest thing for the youth right now is it's it's just uh they gotta see it, bro. You gotta you, you gotta travel and see this stuff. I didn't ever li- really leave Kansas City on travel time. When I left Kansas City to make my moves, is go cop more work. It wasn't to sit back and enjoy what was going on. I was trying to get there, and get back, so I can get back to my bag. So when I got to travel and I got to see black people dealing with black folks and getting money, like real legit money, if it messed me up, you know wow. what I'm saying? So. That's where it brought the, uh, the entrepreneur up out of mind. Because now, you know what I mean? I, uh, I'm going to figure it out for sure, for I sure. Got, I, a lot I, going on. I own left lane towing. 
the Left Lane uh, Music Group. I own a barbershop at the Independence Mall in Kansas City. You know what I'm saying? So it brought up out of me. I seen people like you doing y'all thing, and I, uh, it, it inspired me. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to be honest with you, man. I, I, I thank God that, that it inspired you. Boss Talk 101 is uh, we, we rock with Kansas City, Missouri. Uh, we rock with Kansas uh, Topeka, my boy T. Rail be on here a lot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we rock with Big Court. Yeah, we yeah, rock with yeah. Columbus Short. Okay, yeah. We rock with uh, Rich the Factor now. Come on, he, now. he follows mm -hmm. up there. And for sure, you see the picture on the wall. Me and uh, what's that boy name that that they think he a devil worshiper, but Tech he really nine. not. Tech, Tech nine. nine. Tech me and old nine. Tech Nine. You yeah, know, we yeah, on the wall yeah. up there. I met him early on when I when I was rocking out in Vegas, and um, it's it's just. I already said when I do my first open forum show, it's going to be in Kansas City, you know, Kansas City, yeah. Missouri. I'm coming up there to rock out with y'all. I'm going to try to get the right people in the right panel, and that's where I want to do it at. Yeah, so yeah. Um, shout out to Luston. Hustle, is that him? Uh, yeah, RJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah RJ. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah uh, shout out to them boys up there. What were them two other boys, them little knucklehead boys was on here, the one said that Rich the Fact. What was that boy's name? Life, 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 and yeah, uh, yeah. it was one more. Now the other boy, the little short, the, the one that made me laugh so much that was talking that track. That life, boy, that's a funny dude right there. That nigga should be a comedian. That nigga need to go straight and get on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to tell y'all, thank y'all for coming on the show. Yeah. How can people get a hold of you, bro, if they trying to reach out? Uh, I know you say they, they took the Instagram, but you put a new page up. Is that what you just explained to us earlier? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, is there anything else? Well, uh, you can reach, you can Google Cash Car KC anything and uh, follow him if you don't get on there. But what we trying to do is we are promoting his own business, his own brand. Since we didn't, you know, traveling costs a lot. You know yes, it mean? is. And, uh, you know, I pay bills at the crib, but uh, we are selling his throttle juice. He has his own juice. That uh, get the juice. It is Where's the, the juice that I said? And here? we and we will oh, get it. That's what will, I had it up here for. We would love for y'all to give us the honest to God opinion, Mister Goddammit, uh, Dog Master. Every every major person that we done been around uh, has tried this juice. Wait. So we just try to go around because this is how we gonna make it raise, happen. Raise money because you got a lot of people that say they want to support and they want to back, but they don't. When it's time for us to hit the highway, it's just me and him and Fatty. You know what I mean? So. We ain't going to keep asking nobody for nothing, so we'll earn it. So we put so, together this perfect lemonade. Uh, we, we go state to state trying lemonade. Full, and, and it's called Throttle Juice. Throttle Juice. Come on now. Throttle <laughs> Juice. Throttle Juice is in the building. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it. We're going to try it right here on the set, you know. Uh, throttle Juice is in the building. Which one you want? You're going to have to figure it out, baby. Give me the pink lemonade. Okay, let's go. Let's go. We're going to well, try it right that's now. Strawberry. That's strawberry. That's strawberry. Oh, sorry. Strawberry. Yeah, we're going to try it out right now. That's strawberry. Man, this is... And that's his picture on the front? Throttle juice. Yes, you got your picture on the front. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to try it. That's his picture right. on, on our uniforms, if you okay. didn't catch the Here uniform. Yeah, I saw that. Got to shake it up. What you think? Oh, man. Boy, you done, you got to something here now. <laughs> But it's all right. You know, you don't like stuff too I don't, sweet. It, it ain't too sweet. That it got a chain to it. Everything good. Right here. Yeah. Refreshing, right? Oh, yeah. When it's hot outside, I, I can only imagine. Y'all yeah. out there throwing them cars around. Yes. This is what you need. Hey, see, look, we go state this to state. This throttle juice, man, good. <laughs> we go state to state, and nobody has anything refreshing. Really? Uh, and, and I sacrificed my bladder. Mm -hmm. uh, for y'all to get this perfect mixture because I kept drinking it until we got it right. <laughs> I, can, Let me try I, cannot, here, you know. I cannot drink none of it to this, this day because I'm still trying to get my bladder back right. So okay. Oh, <laughs> too much sugar? No, we just kept trying it until we okay. got it right. Oh, yeah, this got another tank. Now I'm over on the other side. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, it tastes the tank because the lemon's in there. Yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. This got a sweet, a little sweet, but it's still not overly mm -hmm. sweet. Right. Man, like I said, man, I'm going I'm to get a couple of bottles over here. I, I, I can set them out every now and then get some people to try them too. Imagine you know? freezing them and making it into like a little. You know slush. you love to freeze everything. I know you you freeze. And for y'all grown folks, you can add a little tequila or a little vodka to it too. Mm. But With the boy, the boy, the boy even left. <laughs> we can't put that in there. He eleven years old. You gonna have him drunk on throttle juice with the boy picture? That don't even, that don't even sound right, man. Y'all gotta check this no, out. I'm talking throw it out and then do. It. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. Cause you can't <laughs> drink on my boy. You, you can't do him like that, man. Thank y'all for coming on the show, oh, man. Bro. How can people get a hold of you as well? Man, What's your Instagram? Man, man. Instagram left lane underscore fatty 
Left lane underscore fatty, man. Left lane towing and transport. I'm transporting cars nationwide, man. Tap on in. Man. And check his music out. Check his music right. out. Check his Bro, music on, out. Stop playing. Check his music out. We, we, hey, what's the name of the song that's popping right now? Right there, I got uh, I got Sly and Peace, man. I made a song for my my little homie that got smoked behind this, this tour and stuff. He was real heavy in the side show game. So, wow. S.I.P. Wow, what's it called? Slide in peace. Slide in peace. Slide, slide in, in peace. Slide in peace. You know, like rest in peace. Slide in peace. I called it. Yeah, you come too. on, you man. See? And that's from the, the streets, thing. man. The funny thing I thought you said because before you actually explained it, yeah. I thought you said slide piece, and yeah. it would have been like the slide part for side piece. So, oh, okay. Oh, I'm oh, like, no, oh, man, that'd man, be man. a good idea for yeah, one too. That's hard, good. man. Check it, man. Check all of it out though, because. It's all it's all good music to me, and it's not just because he's my partner. It's that if you sit and listen to the music, it has meaning. It's it, the hook goes with the words. <laughs> it's going down. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm yeah. just saying you can get something out of it, and you can see the growth in him. You know what I mean? Man, hey man, listen, man, Young Throttle, Patty the Driver, yes sir, Cash, Miss Jamaica. It's been another great segment. A boss talk 101 where the boss is talk. And we out. Man.